Hello everyone, uh, this is Data Dawn. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, a workflow monitor, Informatica Power Center workflow monitor and debugging features in five minutes. Um, so this workflow monitor is a component of Informatica which is used to monitor the workflows which has been executed. Uh, you can execute a workflow either through workflow designer or uh, through workflow monitor. So this is how the workflow monitor window looks like. Uh, it basically have, gives you two views, uh, GAN chart view and task view. Okay, uh, it, it, you can connect to uh, uh, any informatic repository and then uh, integration servers and then the corresponding folder and workflow and under that workflow session. Okay, you can view the workflow log or a session log or a task log under the any uh, workflow. So you can see uh, the status of the job, uh, when it started, etc. All these things in the workflow monitor. So using the workflow monitor, we can perform tasks like uh, restart a workflow or restart a task uh, which is failed uh, in a workflow. And you can stop a task or a workflow or a worklet. You can abort a task, a workflow or a worklet. Stop and abort basically stop uh, and just stops after after the current executed task uh, abort is just abruptly stops any workflow task or worklet recover is just to recover the suspended workflow after failed task in a corrected from a point of failure which is basically like a checkpoint you can recover a workflow from a point where it failed and it will start running from the point where it failed and you can view the session logs or a workflow log it basically tells you like number of record processed, if it has failed, why it has failed, reasons for failure, etc. You can abort um, uh, any workflow and it has a 60 second timeout, which basically it would uh, 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 abort uh, within 60 seconds. Okay. So if there is a, uh, if integration service has not completed processing and submitting data during the timeout period, the threads and processes associated with the session are killed, basically. So it will simply kill the processes associated with those sessions uh, this is how the workflow monitor uh, looks uh, in two views uh, one is GAN chart view which basically gives the time and uh, when the workflow have run etc and task view which basically looks like a power center uh, designer or workflow designer etc Okay, you can click any of those workflow and right click it to view the job uh, with the, with the uh, logs, either workflow log or a task or a session log you can view. Okay, apart from that you also have a uh, output window as you have in Power Center Designer or uh, Workflow Design. You can monitor workflow uh, as you can see here, you can see which work, the name of the workflow when it had started when it has ended and what is the current status whether whether it is running or whether it succeeded or whether it is failed so those things we can uh, see here in the status bar you can see when uh, which task has started at what time at task level you can see in the uh, status bar okay. so uh, workflow monitor provides a filtering which basically you know uh, you can apply filters uh, like you if you want to see only the failed job you can just set a filter to failed if you want to see the currently running job you can set a, a filter to running you can even see the schedule and succeeded job or else if you don't want to have any filters you can just uh, leave the option to all which will show you all the jobs in the uh, in the repository So if you click on, if you right click on any of the tasks uh, and workflow and then go to the view workflow log or view session log, it will open up a log events window, which you can copy and then you can use it for any purposes like emailing, etc. Okay. Uh, that log events window has different, you know, tabs like CVRT, column headers, CVRT, timestamp, node, thread, message, columns, message. Okay. So if you, you had to look for, uh, if a job has failed, you just basically have to look for a severity called error or warnings, okay, which will uh, let you know the reason for the session failure or workflow failure. 
debugging debugging basically a debugger is a wizard driven tool basically it is uh, integrated with power center designer you can design, view the source target data or view the transformation data this is basically used for the mapping deb uh, debugging you can see how the data actually flows how it's been transformed actually etc you can set a breakpoint to evaluate expression you can set a breakpoint and see what happens when you when the expression evaluated or like if you are converting the timestamp to date or date to timestamp you can see all those things in the breakpoint you can initialize variable you can change the variable value during the runtime okay debugger is uh, session driven of course you should have a session to run the debugger uh, data can be loaded or discarded you can set that option when you start the debugger debugging environment can be saved for later use basically uh, debugger can be uh, can be started using uh, if you just go to tools an option you can set up port number for the debugger to start okay uh, default port is like 5101 okay so once if you start debugging um, you know the debugger uh, designer looks like this and then flashing uh, yellow sql uh, indicator which basically tells you uh, where uh, the data is actually where uh, the logic is currently executing you can step at uh, step through uh, each transformation by just going to mappings debug an option window okay these are the various windows that you can see a debug log tab uh, target data window and transformation instance data window so in which we can see what exactly the data is how it is being flown through the mapping that's all i have to talk about the debugger and uh, workflow designer thanks for watching my video please subscribe more videos to come uh, please write to me if you have any questions thanks